why have high resolution audio? I get asked that a, a bit, so we'll, we'll, we've probably covered this before. We're going to cover it again. You know, sometimes you say it one way, and then the next time you say it another, and then all of a sudden someone goes, aha, and it clicks. And that happens to me all the time. I can hear something 15 times and not get it, and on the 16th time, I get it. So this question comes from Marcos Barp D. Almeida in Porto Velho, Brazil. I'm sure I butchered your name. I'm sorry. Um, hey, Paul, it's my third or fourth question. Oh, okay. And I would love to hear from you. Why buy equipment capable of playing up to 192 kilohertz DSD or more, or more if the speakers available on the market can only reproduce up to 20 kilohertz? And we can only hear up to 20 kilohertz. So that's a really good question, and it, it, it kind of doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, you know, I wanted to show you this. Not many people get to see what we get to see, but this, check that out. Can you, I don't know if you can hold it up to the camera. This is the insides of a BHK preamp. You can see, oh, it's, oh ouch, there's the little tube sockets right there. And these, these are all heat sinks. There's a lot of regulators on this. You can see there's the, the transistors over there. It, this is all power supply. And then this is all the input board. You can see all the jacks and how they do a sandwich on here, all those heat sinks and all. Cool, huh? Just plop that inside, hook a transformer up, and you got a preamp. OK, so what were we talking about uh, before I rambled off? Oh, uh, 190. OK, so um, let's start at the basics. We can only hear up to 20 kilohertz. Most of us can't even hear that high. But let's just say for sake of argument, we can. So we can hear up to 20 kilohertz. If in a digital signal we want to capture from 0 to 20 kilohertz, we need to have double that just to be able to get it in. And that's something called the Nyquist theory or whatever. And basically what it says is in a digital signal, for whatever you want the highest you ever want to get, you need to have double that. And, and you don't, it doesn't matter why. It just, it is. It's just, it's just the way it is. And you can look in N-Y-Q-U-I-S-T, I think, Nyquist. Um, and, and just trust me, you have to do that. So that's why CDs are at 44 kilohertz. You need a little extra than 40 in order to get the filter. Because what we don't want, and digital gets very unhappy, if you put something higher than what you can record, it gets into these aliasing problems and all of that. OK. So we have to have 40 kilohertz in order just to get 20. And that your speakers can reproduce. Why do we need something like 200 kilohertz, 192 kilohertz? Well. The problem with only having 40 kilohertz is that we need a very sharp, steep filter to cut off anything above 40 kilohertz. Because as I said, digital systems get very upset if you put something higher into them. They distort, they do all kinds of stuff. So you need a really steep filter. And steep filters are not only difficult to design and build, but they muck up the sound because they can add phase shift into the frequencies that we can hear. And our ears are very sensitive to phase shift. So as we move out the frequency, let's say instead of 40 kilohertz, we go to 80 kilohertz or 88 kilohertz, or we go to the multiple of 88 kilohertz, which is 176 kilohertz, right? You, you're doing that not because we can hear up into there or the systems can reproduce it, but because it makes the filtering less severe and more gentle. And when we do that, the filtering never gets into the audio band that we can hear. So the higher the resolution, the less impact anything that we have to do to make it work is going to um, happen down in the areas that we hear. And, and there are some other reasons, but that's basically it. Gentler and gentler filters. Okay? Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.